but it's a chess game. I play the king, which is wonderful for a woman to be the boss. And what drew me to the character is that she's, she's mysterious. She doesn't give a lot away. You don't know who she is. And uh, it was a very different type of character to me than heart on your sleeve or very neurotic. It was all contained. That's what, one of the things I love about her. That was so good. I, my, I say the same thing. Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> um, my character is Monica Reed, and she is the only American in the in the show, the only char American character in the show. And um, she comes in when um, in the pilot episode where you see there has been a murder that has taken place, and she suspects that someone from her division is one of the victims. So she comes in, and when she starts to realize that um, there, you know, that there are more, that she has more personal ties to it. She decides to stay there to help try to figure this out because she has a personal stake in it. And I play Miffany Thomas. I'm a rook. This is my king. Um, and I have, I don't know who I am. And that's kind of where you find me. And I can't give much more away, really. But um, I was drawn to the idea that what is identity, what defines you? Um, and I think this show, like, my favorite thing personally was to explore that kind of idea and you know what things do you like and does your past really make you who you are and can you define yourself through the future. I was reading the book and then was told to stop reading the book because it's such a big departure and they didn't want I guess also they didn't want me knowing anything so I was like for me they were like stop reading it you can't know anything. This is really bad because I think all three of us are going to say we didn't read the book. But again, I was hired and I thought, great, I'll read the books. And they were like, please don't read the books. Because I think, Miffany, I think your ballpark, but I think our characters are very different. Yeah. And so they just felt it would be misleading. Yeah, I haven't even read a script. <laughs> I haven't read a book or a script. I wing it True. every day. True. She does wing she it. She does wing it. She's so I'm good out at there. winging it. Yeah, that's all true. She has a very, very fast brain. Oh, but the book is I great. Do. I did get that's more great. than halfway through, and the book is great. It's very like, it's much more like, the. I really enjoyed the historical references and sort of the, yeah, I, the book's great, and he's great. I think that, that the word supernatural is a little bit misleading mm -hmm. because though there are... I don't even know if supernatural is the word because in a weird way they're natural powers. They are. In they're the... just to the nth degree. Just something yes. like some people have developed or um, they're, you know, and skills that we have as human beings. Some of us have just, for, for some unforeseen reason, some of us have... Don't use them. Yeah, and some of us have them to an, you know, an amazing degree. Like my character has a super strength, so um, you know I can. And you you know, do. I do, <laughs> and like somebody can hear a whisper in a crowd of thousands or see for miles. Mm. And so it is like Julie's saying, it's not supernatural because it, it is all based in reality. Yes, and in ancient times, I think those powers were developed more. But so so it's there are multi layers. It, there is the spy thriller. It's a very sexy story of this world of mystery with a few sort of otherness going on in terms of these powers but also this you know a very main central question which, which was what Emma was talking about mm. of who are you if you can't remember your past yep <laughs> that's you <laughs> yeah I mean I think I think what's really wonderful about the show when I when I initially got the script and it said yeah it's just, it said sci-fi I think I think at the time it's and, not I, a sci -fi and it's not sci-fi and I remember thinking okay this isn't a genre that I'm really aware of or that sort of like sort of you know into it's not a genre that is I'm usually grabbed by and then when I read the script and it was so incredibly well written the writers are these amazing young playwrights who have really written an incredible script and um, the dialogue was great and I just thought these are such real characters and it's really fun and it's sort of the supernatural element just brings so much more and actually adds to the characters a lot of the time I feel that it distracts from it and really it sort of builds like yours which is a big secret it's so great 
Like, mm -hmm. and that's what's sort of really fun. And I love Adrian Lester, plays Grant Chester. His is, you know, he, it's just great. It's just really clever and it works and it doesn't feel, I don't think, at any point hokey or sort of, it's just sort of very like subtle and really like elevates the characters and you get to see a bit more of who they are through what they're able to do. It's incredibly freeing. Um, and, you know, that was sort of one of the things that drew me to it. And I was as excited and also terrified by because it was basically scene by scene trying to, and I was, the showrunners really didn't want me knowing anything. I kind of asked a few questions and then I got the feeling that they just wanted me in the dark, which was great because it meant that each scene that we played, each character that I, you know, interacted with, I could really kind of find who this Miffany is. And with Kari Skogland, the first director of one and two, like we really worked a lot on playing scenes in different ways and sort of pushing her in one direction more and then reeling it back and trying out a different way. So it was, for me as an actor, it was such a gift to have that. It's really rare to be able to play so much within a character. And the funny thing is also about series television is that you never know what's going to happen next. Mm. We don't know. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes they tell you a vague they don't know. but if <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> no one knows. The great thing is, is that you really have to play it moment to moment because you've no idea what your character will yeah. be doing next. It's one of the reasons I love series television. I thought I'd tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you get to, and you get to like... Thank you, Charlie. I, I actually concur. Yep, she does. I concur.